Hello everyone, welcome to Jolly Molly TV. Today we're going to do another fun vlog in Kimberbell's adorable project called Quilting Through the Seasons. Today we're going to work on this stripe block number one right here. Okay, so go ahead and grab your plastic pouch system that you've labeled stripe one and let's head over to the machine and let's get started stitching. I also want to give a huge shout out again. Thank you so much to my girlfriend's quilt shop for sponsoring me and sending me the CD, the embellishments and the fabric kit in order so that I can show you how to make this project. If you still need some of these supplies for this project, please visit my girlfriend's quilt shop using the link down below and help me give them a big thanks for supporting me and enabling me to make this video series for you. Huge thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My girlfriend's quilt job. Okay, we are at the machine and ready to start making the block stripes number one. I have a bobbin of white thread down below. I have my eight by eight inch hoop that is filled with one piece of the poly no-show mesh stabilizer. I have pulled my plastic pouch system that is labeled number six dash stripes one that has all of my pieces that I need. So I'm going to go ahead and pull all of these out. This is going to be a fun block to make. Look at that. All right. So we've got those out and we're, we're going to set these aside for the moment. And now I need to pull a piece of batting because we're doing the quilting as we go. So this is a seven by seven inch piece of batting. Put the other one aside. Okay, put this aside so we are ready to go. Now I put white thread in the top of my machine because most of the stitching we're gonna do with this block can be done in white. We'll change it up for the quilting later on if we decide to quilt in something different than white. We'll see how the block looks to decide what we want to quilt it in, right? Okay, let's go to the screen cam and load the design. So we're going to click on embroidery. We're going to go to my flash drive and we're going to go to the, my quilting through the seasons folder. Okay, we're going to do two things. We're going to pick a quilting design first and we're going to go for the stars. And I'm looking for a six by six inch design, which is right here. I'm going to choose that. Maybe. Hello. There we go. It was thinking there for a second. All right. I'm going to click set. It brings it in automatically. Now I'm going to add the embroidery design on top of this. Okay. So I'm going to click add. I'm going to go to my flash drive. I'm going to go to quilting through the seasons. And I'm looking for the main quilt. And then I'm looking for this one right here, which is stripes. That's the one I need. That's exactly it. So I click set. It's going to automatically bring it in and center it. And that's all I need to do. And I'm going to click embroidery. Okay. So now I'm going to walk you through a few things. We're going to be skipping around on the steps on this block because we need to stitch the placement line for the batting and we need to put the batting down and secure it and trim it before we can go and put the, stri the strips of fabric down. Okay. So then we'll come back once all the strips of fabric are, are sewn down. Then we're going to come back and quilt the quilting design on top of it. So we're going to skip around a little bit, but just stay with me and I'll walk you through each step of it. Okay. So for right now, we're going to leave the machine right where it is because it wants to do the placement line for the batting. And that's the first step that we want to do. Let's go back to the hoop cam. So we are going to stitch this first stitch out in white thread. You ready? Let's go. Now 
now we're going to place the batting down covering that stitch line on all sides okay so we're going to stitch this next stitch stitch number two tack down of the batting here we go Okay, now I want you to take the hoop off the machine and go to a table and I want you to trim away all of the excess batting from all four sides. And I'll meet you right back here. Okay, so that's trimmed up nicely. Now I'm going to go to the screen cam. So now this stitch, it wants to like do a placement line for fabric. Well, we're not doing that. We're going to go to our plus and minus button and we're gonna move forward a stitch, all right? This would be tack down for a piece of fabric. We don't wanna do that. We're going to go forward a stitch. This is the quilting design. We don't wanna do that just yet. We're gonna go forward a design. And there we go. This is now going to stitch the placement line for the fabric strips that we have. This is the stitch we wanna do. So I'm going to click OK. And now we are in position. White thread still on top. Now it's going to stitch this placement line for the fabric. Here we go. You got this. Okay, so now that we have this grid stitched out, the next stitch is going to actually be the placement line for the first piece. So let's put the foot down and keep an eye on where it's stitching. This is going to be a placement line. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm actually going to take the hoop off the machine so I can work a little bit easier. And I'm going to put the first two fabrics down. And the first one is a green. And the second one is a light gray with a white polka dot, if you have the kit. And this is how it's going to go in the block. So I just basically want to flip the light gray one over, put right sides together, and line up here on this long side, like so. All right. And then we're going to put this under the needle and we're going to line it up on that placement line. Okay? That's where you want to be. Now you can secure it with tape if you like. I'm going to be a little bit adventurous. And I'm just going to use my stylus to hold it down. I want to make sure I pull it down just a little bit more. I don't need this much on the up on top and that way it'll actually go right under the needle and I won't have to worry about it grabbing or snagging on anything. All right so now it's going to stitch going up the tack down line where it's going to secure these two fabrics. Keep your fingers away from the moving needle and I'm just going to use my stylus to help keep it in check. All right here we go. Let's tack this down. Okay. Okay, so now you're going to flip the light gray fabric over and I just do a finger press, all right? If you'd like to actually press this, you need to take the hoop off the machine, go put it on your ironing board, and give this a quick press just to do that seam. But I've always found that a finger pressing does a really good job as well. So I've just finger pressed it on the hoop, and now it's going to stitch the tack down for this fabric. I'm going to make sure that it doesn't catch that edge as it starts to stitch. 
by just holding it down right here with the stylus. All right. So let's go ahead. You can tape it if you like or be brave. Just watch and make sure it doesn't catch that edge and stitch upward. All right. Here we go. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be fine. Here we go. Okay, so now I want you to take the hoop off the machine and I want you to trim as close as you can next to this. It doesn't have to be perfect, but go ahead and cut away that excess fabric. Okay, so I've trimmed up that excess fabric. Now I've gone and pulled out the white kind of like a leafy print. I'm going to use that as the next in line. So I put that down, then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to line it up so that the right edge is right next to that stitch line. What we use to tack down the gray is actually now become the placement line for the white. All right, so I'm going to make sure that it's lined up next to that. And I'm going to put it on the hoop. And you can see where now where your machine's going to stitch. Oops, now i got to re-thread my needle. There we go. So you can see where that's going to stitch. And that's going to get about a quarter inch, and it's going to secure or tack down this fabric all the way up. So again, you can tape it, or you can be brave like me. Just make sure you keep your fingers away from that moving needle, and we're going to tack down this strip of fabric. You ready? Here we go. Okay, we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to flip it over and we're going to finger press. Don't press too hard on areas that are not on the machine bed. If you do, use your hand underneath to do that. All right. We're going to do the same thing. Now we're going to tack down this strip of fabric. Put down. I'm going to use my stylus right there until I make sure it's off the edge and stitching away. Here we go. Okay, see how it's moved over? So now we're going to trim away the excess of this white fabric and meet you right back here. Okay, you getting the hang of this? All right, so that one's tacked down. We're now gonna pull the kind of a teal aqua fabric from the kit. I'm gonna turn it over right side down, or right sides together as we call it. And we're gonna place that right along that last stitch line. I'm gonna bring it up. Same thing, I'm going to use my stylus and I'm going to tack down this strip. Here we go. You got this. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this strip over and we're going to finger press it just so that it lies nice and flat and then we're going to stitch this down. You got this. Get in the rhythm. 
keep your fingers away and that's going to be just fine because it's already on the fabric. Here we go. See, it's moved over. That tells me it's time to trim the excess because it's in position to add the next strip. So let's take the hoop off the machine and let's trim away this excess fabric right here. Okay, so we've trimmed up that excess fabric there. Now I've grabbed my gray fabric that has kind of almost like little flowers on it. And I'm going to flip that so that the fabric is right sides together with a piece of fabric beforehand and line it up with that very last stitch line we did. And we're gonna put it down and we're going to foot down and we're gonna tack it down. You got this. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take that gray fabric and we're going to flip it over and finger press it down so that it's nice and flat and we're going to put the foot down and we're going to tack down this strip. Here we go. it's moved over again so now it's in position to add the next piece so now we need to trim away this excess fabric before we can do that next stitch I'll meet you right back here okay trimmed up all that extra fabric now I have the fabric that has the white with the gold little dots or flex on it I'm going to turn that make it right sides together with that last piece of fabric line it up right on that stitch line and put the hoop back on you know what to do we're going to use the stylus and we're going to put the foot down and tack down this piece of fabric here we go And now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to flip this piece of fabric over and we're going to finger press it. Okay, so we've got that, this piece nice and flat. And now we're done attaching the pieces of fabric. Now what it wants to do is it wants to stitch an outside tack down line on each side to help keep all the fabric in its place on the edges. So we've got the foot down. I'm going to use a stylus just to make sure it doesn't snag. It shouldn't, but I'm just going to watch as it does both pieces of stitching. So you can still leave white thread on the top of your machine. Okay, here we go. Okay, now that it thinks it's done, 
we're going to go back to the screen cam. And remember we skipped the quilting design earlier? Well, now we're going to go back to that. So I'm going to click OK. So now the machine is back at the first stitch. We're going to hit the plus and minus key. And now I'm going to go forward one stitch. That was the tack down for the batting. Forward another stitch. Placement, which we didn't stitch for the fabric. Tack down for the fabric, which we didn't stitch. And now we forwarded to the quilting. This is what we want to do now. We want to stitch out the quilting. I also want to give another thank you to another sponsor in this video, Kimber Bell, for providing me with the quilting designs to be able to make this project absolutely amazing using their block by block quilting designs. Thank you so much, Kimber Bell. And if you're interested in getting these quilting designs, please use the link in the description below and it'll take you right to it. And you can choose the bundle of the quilting designs, or you can also just get individual designs. If you like it all florals or all sayings, which I believe they call time, you can choose which designs you want to put in your project. So please check out the link down below for Kimberbell.com. So now I'm going to go back to the hoop cam. And here's my decision. Do I want to quilt in white thread? I think so, because enough of this is white. It'll, white will show up nicely on here, will really show nicely here, and on there, and on there. So I think quilting in white is going to be my preferred color for this block. All right? So white thread's are already in the top of my machine. You pick out what color thread you would like to stitch this block out in and put the foot down and let's stitch it out. It is a six minute in real life stitch out. Need to re-thread my needle here. Six minutes, ready? This is one of my favorite designs too. I love watching this one stitch out. Here we go. That looks nice. Okay, there, there's one more stitch we're going to do, which is an outer stitch line, which is going to help us trim up this block a lot easier. So I'm going to go back to the plus and minus, and I'm going to go back a stitch. There's the quilting, and I'm going to go back one more stitch. And that would be a placement line for like a solid piece of fabric. Well, now we have the fabric down. If we stitch out this line, this will actually be our trim up line. So we want to do this step and this will be the last stitch out for this block. All right. So let's go ahead and put the foot down and I'm going to just watch very carefully, make sure it doesn't snag the edge. It shouldn't, it should be just perfect. And let's stitch this outer placement line down. Here we go. Perfect. So that way it's going to make our trimming a lot easier because that line, as you know from previous blocks, is pretty much our trim up line. So that is it. You just stitched out the block stripes number one. So now let's take this over to the table and let's finish it up. Okay. Didn't this block turn out great? Look at that quilting. You see that quilting? That is really, really fun. I love that. Okay, so now the last thing we have to do with this block is we have to square it up to six and a half inches 
by six and a half inches square. And if you remembered when we went back and we stitched this outer stitch line, this is the reason why we did it. If you measure that edge of the stitch line to this edge, it's six and a half inches. If you go top to bottom, it's six and a half inches. So that literally tells us how to score out this block. So I'm going to go to this side first. So it's a little bit easier because my ruler is the right size for the stabilizer. And I'm going to cut right just a hair past that stitch line. Just a hair. Okay. That goes off. So this side is trimmed up. I'm going to go using my mat. Also looking, six and a half would be 16, so 10 and a half. Use my mat. And then can I see the stitch line? Yes, I can. It is just under that ruler. So now we're good to trim it up with your rotary cutter. There we go. Look at that. So those two sides are done. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to use my ruler, go up to the stitch line, and go just a hair past it. Trim that up. Do the same thing over here. And 15 would be nine and a half. And I can see the stitch line is just under the edge of the ruler. And I trim it up. And that is an easy peasy way of trimming up your block. Now look at that. Isn't that fun? Now this little stitch line you see from the quilting, don't worry about that because when the blocks are sewn together, that's going to be in your quarter inch seam allowance. Isn't that amazing? You did it. So I hope you had as much fun today making this block as I did. So please stay tuned here on Jolly Molly TV for more fun and more blocks in Kimberville's fun project, Quilting Through the Seasons. And until I see you next time, happy stitching. Take care. Bye-bye.